Hello, everyone. Happy, happy Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. We'll talk about that in a second. Welcome to Leadership Live with Steve White. Uh, my objective every month is uh, I listen to your questions. Uh, throughout the month, I get different questions on my social media platform around different items of interest. And with our team, we try to go through and say, what's hot? What, what are folks thinking about um, that's on their mind? And I try to provide my perspective, not that it's the right answer or the wrong answer. I just try to provide my perspective. So again, welcome to Leadership Live. Happy Wednesday. The objective of this every month is just to get on live, talk about questions that are important to you. And probably the most important question we've received over the last handful of days is all around New Year's resolutions. And I want you to think about that feeling that you had at the end of last year coming into the new year. Optimism, all the things you wanted to get done. This year was going to be different than last year or maybe the year before. This is your year to really break out, live your why, have purpose, all of those wonderful things. So let's go back. Let's go back to that feeling that you had coming into the new year. Now that it's February 2nd, do you know over 50% of New Year's resolutions go by the wayside by January 21st? Another 25% go away by mid-February. So think about this, six weeks into the new year, all of that optimism, all of that joy about the new year has gone away and just the day-to-day -day challenges of life come into play. But that's what we're going to talk about today. How do we make sure that our New Year's resolutions, those goals that we set for ourselves, how do we make sure they stay alive? How do we make sure that they're focused, they're consistent, and we don't lose sight of it? So at the end of 2022, and as you're beginning to plan for 2023, you can take great pride in what you've accomplished. Okay, ready? So hopefully this is relevant to you. So what I always start with is I start with something that will help me stay focused. And I learned this. So it's not my idea. I got it from someone else. But let's start with SMART. That's how we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions today. S-M-A-R-T, SMART. That's where we're going to focus on. So I'm going to write, I'm going to say that again so everybody can write it down. SMART, S-M-A-R-T. So the best way to establish good resolutions and then live those resolutions to make sure they happen over a period of time, we're going to start with the word SMART. S stands for specific. The best resolutions, the best New Year's resolutions, they're very specific. I am going to do A, B, C, and D. And then I develop a plan in how I'm going to go do it. And it's so important that you write it down. So the first step to creating great New Year's resolutions and then ensuring that you stay focused on it, everything we have to be smart about it. So S is specific. So number one, your New Year's resolutions have to be very specific. I will do A, B, C, D, and then I've got a plan on how I want to go about doing that. The next one, M, stands for measurable. How do you go about measuring the impact of those resolutions? So you have to have a number tied to it. Uh, something very, very specific that you want to get done. So I'm a golfer. And so my objective this year, I said, I want to improve my golf handicap. That is my fun, you know, guilty pleasure New Year's resolution. And then measurable, I actually say, I want to take my golf handicap index from A to B. So it's very specific. I want to improve my golf handicap. Then second piece is very measurable. I want to take my handicap from point A to point B. That's what M is for. So S is specific. M is for measurable. And then A is achievable. Can I actually achieve it? This is where you have to look yourself in the mirror and be honest with yourself. 
So I'm having fun with golf because this is a crazy day here in Colorado. The weather's crazy. So we're just going to have fun today. Achievable. Now, if I set my goal as I want to be able to beat Tiger Woods by the end of the year, that's really not a realistic, uh, you know, objective. But achievable, if I say I want to improve my golf handicap index by two strokes, and I've got a very specific plan or three strokes, then that's very, very measurable. Let's, let's take another one. Uh, there's an area in my life that I'm working on is how do I continue to be, you know, a better father? So that's a very specific, and I'm going to measure it this way about the quality of time that Stevie and I have together and how I'm going to achieve it. I think that's achievable, but I'm going to go develop a very specific plan and I'm going to buy six books that I can educate myself on how to be a more effective father. So whatever it is, if it's golf, being a dad, being a better dad, being a best, better business executive, it doesn't matter. So S is for specific, M is for measurable, and then the next one, A, is all about achievable. It's all about taking your big goals, breaking them down into bite-sized pieces and going from there. And don't feel that you've got to set an annual goal. You might make it achievable and say, I want to achieve it by January 31st or February 28th. Keep building that way. The smaller you can make those goals, the more achievable they are. So specific, measurable, achievable, and R stands for relevant. How important is it to you to really make that happen? So you want to make your goals and your resolutions relevant to you. For example, uh, I am very focused on working out and eating well, but guess what's motivating me to do that? I want to make sure I'm around when Stevie, who's only nine years old, when he graduates from high school, when he graduates from college, when he marches down the aisle with the bride of his, of his life, and then he starts having children. I want to make sure that I'm there for those special moments. So therefore, I try to make my resolutions very relevant to me. So on those tough days, I'm still going to be motivated and excited. So specific, measurable, achievable, relevant. And then T stands for time bound. That I'm going to set this resolution. I'm going to make it measurable. I'm going to make sure it's achievable and it's relevant to me. It's, in other words, it's important to me. And then I'm going to put specific time. And so what I like to do with my New Year's resolutions, I try to set up time bound throughout the year. I don't say I'm going to accomplish this in 12 months. I say by the end of February, I want to be here. By the end of May, I want to be here. By the end of July, I want to be here. So it's very important that you have it set at time bound. And I like to have these little milestones throughout the year, which keeps me on track, which keeps me on focus. So even if I miss, you know, my end of February go, I can still make it up. So that keeps me encouraged, keeps me involved. So uh, as we talk about New Year's resolutions, this question comes up all the time. It's the one question I get asked more than anything, particularly at the beginning of the year. How do I make them real? And so therefore, you're smart about it. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Write it down and then create space on your calendar. And I'm serious about this. Schedule time on your calendar, even for 10 or 15 minutes every week or every two weeks, whatever you feel comfortable with, where you're going to go sit down and revisit your New Year's resolutions to ensure that you're on track. The second trick that I like to use is I try to have an accountability coach. Uh, I'll ask my wife, Barbita, I'll share with her my goals, and then I will come back and ask her for feedback and say, give me some honest assessment of how am I doing? So therefore, I've kind of got an accountability coach there to help me uh, along the way. So I wish you nothing but the best as you uh, enjoy the journey of 2022. This truly can be the best year of your life. It's all within your reach if you're smart, no pun intended, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Those are the things that will allow you to accomplish what you set for yourself and allow you to live the best year of your life. So as I start to wrap up Leadership Live today with Steve White, 
I want to talk about Black History Month. Obviously, uh, this is an important month, particularly for people of color, but really it should be for all Americans. And so over the next uh, 25 or 28 days on my social media platform, whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, um, you can follow me and I'll be talking about Black History Month and what it means to me and what I believe it should mean to all Americans. Uh, and this is particularly important. I have a young son, Stevie, as I mentioned to you, who's nine years old now. And we try to um, share with him different books of, of representing all races, but particularly for people that look like him. And we share with him books that really illuminate the Black history uh, and the contributions to this country. But we'll also talk about how do you make sure this is just not a once a month, once a year thing. Uh, we should embrace history uh, throughout the year. And we'll talk a little bit about that over the coming weeks uh, through my social media platform as we talk about Black History Month and what it means to me, what I believe it should mean to all Americans. And I'll just share my perspective so we can enjoy this month of enlightenment, education, and learning. So as I wrap up today, um, I hope you will continue to follow me. If you want to learn more, please go to my website, stevewhitespeaks.com. You'll learn more about the book that's going to come out on February 22nd. Uh, it's available for pre-order now on Amazon and other, uh, other outlets. But also when you go to the website, it's not just about the book. I've really tried to create for all of our followers a place where you can go and hang out. You can learn, you can follow all my blogs, you can see where I'm uh, writing articles and appearing on podcasts. You can see all of that. Uh, I hope you'll find it as a great place where you can go create your own learning lab and learn. So please go to stevewhitespeaks.com to learn more about the book and other things that I'm doing and some of my philosophies around leadership. And I hope you will, um, Check it out and buy the book, but not just for yourself, but to, you'll buy it for your team, uh, friends, relatives, uh, people you might be leading and inspiring along the way. So thanks for joining today. Thanks for joining Leadership Live with Steve White. I'll see you in a few weeks on the next Leadership Live with Steve White on LinkedIn. I hope you'll follow me at stevewhitespeaks.com. I hope you have a great day, a great week, and a great month as we enjoy Black History Month. And good luck with those New Year's resolutions. Please share with me how you're progressing. Let me know how your progress is coming and what else I can do to help. Thanks, everybody. See you later.